Well, this is the runtime HMI of the operator station and the equipment 321 VF03, which I click. I can go to the respective PLC by clicking on the O and the respective group of this equipment can be seen when I click on the G. And this is the faceplate of a group F108 321 GR01. You can see that the group is in complete operation and is it is in automatic mode. The PLC in which the respective equipment 321BF03 in its block lie is E22. I will go to the 321BF03. This is the C drive block. I'll watch the online status and the command on and command off interfaces have been watched online and the group link interface as I have discussed in the last video the G link is interconnected with the group link of the C drive block of the every device in the group the feedback on and the feedback off has been watched online well we have discussed these input and output parameters in the last video but I will show you the interconnection of the output and input interface in this video and it's working. So the group link output interface is interconnected with every single device in this group. I randomly click on any of the device and it will take me to the group link input interface of the C drive block. This is the horn output interface and it has been interconnected with the combined alarm of the area. The local mode and single mode while the GBE and GBA. GBE is the command on pulse. G local is the local mode and it is interlinked with the ELOC, the local mode input interface of the respective C drive block. The GES, the single mode output block of the group is interlink interlinked with the EEIZ, the input interface single block of the C drive block. If both are zero, it means that the block is in automatic mode because the group is in automatic mode. GB is the command on pulse and it will be interlinked with the input command on pulse of the C drive block EBFE while the command of output interface the pulse that is generated over here is interconnected with the command of input interface and the C drive block EBFE the start command and stop command are parameterized by the start delay and stop delay. In this case, both are zero seconds. We can adjust it according to our requirement. It is the seconds delay. So the com permanent command on, permanent command off and all other output signals can be interlinked with the respective C drive block depending upon our requirement but these are the most frequently used input and output interface that we have interlinked with the C drive block. The running signal of the C drive block is ended and ended for the feedback on and feedback off respectively in this manner. So these were the important signals of the C group block interlinked with the C drive block. So we can also look for the status of the input and output parameters of the C group block from the runtime HMI. The operator can see it. And this is the logical section. You can adjust it. You can make changes according to your requirement. So that's it for now. Uh, that was the demonstration of the C group block. It's interconnection to the C drive blocks. So that's it for now. See you in the next video.